crystallographers were initially attracted by the beautiful shapes and sizes of the naturally occurring crystals. For centuries, the study of crystals focused primarily on shape, size, and regularity of the bounding surfaces of crystals. These studies gave rise to three basic laws of crystallography. Let us get acquainted with these fundamental laws. We know that, crystals are bound by plane faces, and the angle between the normals of two adjacent faces of a crystal is called, interfacial angle. The law of constancy of interfacial angles is a fundamental principle in crystallography. It was first introduced by Nicholas Steno, in 1669. It states that, for crystals of the same mineral species, the angles between corresponding faces remain constant, regardless of the crystal's size or shape. This consistency is due to the fixed atomic structure of the mineral. Steno discovered this by measuring quartz crystals. He found that, when measured at the same temperature, these interfacial angles did not change, even if the crystals grew under different conditions. This means that, despite possible distortions during crystal growth, the interfacial angles remain the same. Suppose a crystal grows more in one direction due to an uneven supply of material. This might cause the crystal to appear distorted, or irregular. However, despite this distortion, the interfacial angles between equivalent faces will remain constant. This is because the atomic structure, that dictates these angles, doesn't change with external conditions. This principle is crucial in crystallography, because it allows scientists to identify minerals accurately, and understand their internal structures, even when external appearances are different. Hauwe's law of rational indices helps us understand how crystals are structured. The law states that, the positions, where different faces of a crystal meet the three main axes, are consistent, and can be described using simple fractions, or whole numbers. You can imagine three lines in a 3D space, X, Y, and Z, these are the crystallographic axes. The distances from the origin, point O, to where a crystal face intersects the axis, are called intercepts. The intercepts of any crystal face, can be expressed as whole number multiples of the unit face intercepts. If you think of the unit face, ABC, as a base reference, any other face of the crystal can be described, using simple multiples of the intercepts A, B, and C. This means, the structure of the crystal is mathematically predictable, and consistent. This law allows scientists to describe and predict the geometry of crystals, using simple mathematical terms, making it easier to study, and categorize them. The law of constancy of symmetry states that, all crystals of a substance have the same elements of symmetry, including the axis of symmetry, plane of symmetry, and center of symmetry. This law was developed from X-ray studies of crystals. The law of constancy of symmetry means that, crystals of a particular substance have the same elements of symmetry, even if they differ in shape, size, or growth mode. For example, a gall crystal can appear as an octahedron, dodecahedron, or cubic shape, but all of these shapes have the same elements of symmetry. In summary, the three foundational laws of crystallography, not only enhance our understanding of natural crystals, but also pave the way for innovations in material science and technology.